In January 2007, Transworld Sport travelled to the Baltic nation of Estonia to meet a rising star in the world of athletics. Margus Hoyt was the reigning world junior champion in both the shot put and discus and was hotly tipped to take the men's throwing events into a new era. In the two and a half years since we filmed with him, a lot has changed. Margus now lives and trains in America at the Southern Methodist University in Dallas and is a member of the G4S14, a program which aims to help 14 young athletes fulfill their sporting dreams by assisting with all aspects of their career. I came to visit in 2007 just for a training camp. I just was talking to Coach Wallman and I did some of my practice here and I uh, just fell in love with the campus and, you know, into USA in general and so I made my mind clear that I don't want to come here and, uh, and here I am now. One of the main reasons for choosing SMU was so that he could work with Dave Wallman, a world-renowned trainer who had taken Margus's Estonian teammate Alexander Tamer to Olympic bronze in the discus at the 2004 Games in Athens. Having worked with numerous world-class throwers, Coach Wallman is well-placed to judge Marcus's potential. When you measure his arm span, you measure his height, you measure his strength level, he's bigger, stronger, faster. So uh, I've had you know, a lot of Olympic finalists in the discus event. So uh, he's starting out farther down the road than they were at that age. Margus moved to Dallas temporarily after graduating high school in Estonia in 2007. With the help of his sponsors, he funded the trip himself. But with things going so well, he wanted to make the move permanent. However, staying at SMU with Coach Wallman wasn't an option, as the college didn't have a men's track and field program. We were considering that going to the other university when one practice, Coach Wallman told me that, you know, what do you think about football? Because he, want, he didn't definitely want me to leave SMU, and I didn't want to leave SMU. And so we th thought that, you know, let's just give it a shot because a lot of football coaches and some of the players have been talking to me and, you know, telling me that I should, you know, join the team and, or just, you know, try out for it, you know. Despite being a complete novice at American football, Margus excelled during the tryouts and was offered a full athletic scholarship. He started his rookie season playing defensive end for the SMU Mustangs fourth team. However, by the end of the year, he'd been promoted to play in the second team. At well over two meters tall with explosive speed, Marcus has been a revelation. First, it kind of was disturbing, track and field, especially when it was like hard running practices. But I think that in some way we even benefited from it because, I mean, my feet got a lot more quicker and faster, a little bit more explosive. And uh, I, I gained a lot of confidence playing that. It's kind of something that I needed to do, you know see that track and field is also like a really fun sport. With a newfound love for America's most popular sport, Margus is hoping that he can juggle gridiron and athletics. I've never known any talented athlete, big man, with as many gifts as Margus. So I have a suspicion that anything he really puts his heart and mind into, he's going to accomplish at the highest level. So, and, and I've already seen that in the, in the throwing events. So I suspect he'll, he'll get the same thing done in, in football. Away from football, Margus is also excelling in the classroom, finishing his first year at SMU with top marks in business studies. Mm -hmm. 
however, his development in athletics hasn't been as straightforward. Since competing as a senior, Margus has struggled to live with the huge expectations placed on him. I think that it was quite hard for me to get back on track, you know, mentally, because I felt all that, you know, kind of pressure on my shoulders from especially, you know, Estonians and Estonian media and you know they were all, all the time asking me how it's how is it going and you know when when we're gonna see 60 meters from you. Margus has slump in form as a phase many young athletes go through as they try to make the difficult transition from promising junior to successful senior. He's been helped through the most difficult period of his fledgling career by amongst others his major sponsor. Argus is the oldest athlete in the G4S14 program, which provides support and assistance to 14 young sports people in different parts of the world through to the 2012 Olympics. Daniel Grizzard is the vice president of G4S America. We operate in 110 countries and we have over 120 offices with inside the United States. So wherever Marcus goes and trains, whether it be an SMU or any other college within the United States, he can draw on those resources for every G4S office that we have. The young athletes in the program are mentored by Ethiopian great Haile Gebre Selassie. He offers advice to the 14 on exactly how to overcome the sort of obstacles Marcus has faced. The way he smiles all the time and gives, you know, keeps that positivity all the time to the highest level. I think that that's really important in everything, not in just, you know, athletics. I mean, if you're smiling all the time, I mean, it just, you know, keeps you going. So I think that his personality is really a really good, really good opportunity for all the G4S 14 athletes to, you know, have, it, have him as a role model to all of us. Now completely happy with the way that he's developing as an athlete in America, Vargas is firmly at home amongst the skyscrapers of downtown Dallas. He'll be in Texas until the summer of 2012, when he's scheduled to graduate before hopefully competing in his first Olympic Games. Margus wasn't selected to compete for Estonia at this year's Athletics World Championships in Berlin. However, the 22-year-old knows that discus in particular is a discipline that takes many years of practice before athletes reach their peak. And with Margus working tirelessly to ensure that his huge potential is realized, don't be surprised to see him dominating the discus at the London Olympics in 2012. I always used to believe that uh, that, that God didn't give everything to everyone. But I'm not so sure in this case he, he missed anything. Uh, so it's a matter of time. Uh, the discus is not a young man's sport, not the 2K, and um, it's a seasoned sport. And it's one that you grow into. And he certainly was at the top of the world uh, in, as a junior. And the goals are to reach the top of the world as a senior. And uh, that's a process. I think that if it comes down to 2012 London Olympics, I'm going to be there and I'm going to just power through. But I mean, my ambitions are high, they're really high because I, wa I was the best in juniors, I want to be, I want to be the best in uh, adults and I just, want to, I just want to win an Olympic gold. In the next edition of Transworld Sport, we're in New York to meet boxing's would-be rabbi, Yuri Foreman. And we head to Finland for the Island Games.